What's up guys, it's Dwayne back again for another video, back in for the reaction. And today's a great, wonderful, amazing day because it's a Sweden day. The extraordinary reality facing Sweden's northernmost city. Without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Let's go. Wow. Wow. That's Good morning, folks. Snow. Welcome to the video and welcome to Kiruna, the northernmost city in Sweden. Now, I think I've been saying it wrong. I've been calling it Kiruna, but the stress should be at the start of the word, so it's Kiruna. But please forgive me Kiruna. if I say it wrong again. I'll slip up at some point, I'm sure. He's Scottish. I can hear from the accent. I'm always getting place names wrong, even in Scotland. So beautiful. <clears throat> Don't you just love the sound? I mean, you guys are used to the sound, but the sound of like freshly fallen snow, it's kind of like a rip, rip, rip. It's got a nice sound to it. Like, <laughs> it, just, it just sounds nice to my ear. I haven't heard that sound in a long time because of global warming, not to get very like uh, Greta on you, Sweden. Um, because of global warming, we don't get much snow anymore in England. And England was known for snow. If you've ever watched like old Christmas movies, in London, there's always snow on the ground in London. Lots of snow, like lots of snow. Why? Because it used to snow in England. And it used to snow in, so it stopped snowing in the majority of England. You don't really get much snow. In London, you will never see snow on the floor. You will never see snow. It doesn't snow. You might see some flurries in the sky sometime, you will never see this sort of snow. But back in the day you did. So global warming is a real thing. For real. Wow, look at that house. That's a gorgeous house. It's like a gingerbread house. That's cute. That's really cute. The shape of it, look at it. It looks like an igloo. That's such an interesting house. I want that house. <laughs> I want to move in now. Whoa. Now I'm sure you'll agree, this looks like a fairy tale place to live, but yeah. always not as it seems. And the fairy tale is turning into a bit of a nightmare for a lot of residents here in Kiruna. Oh, why? This is like the old centre of town, and although it is still dark, it's almost 10 o'clock in the morning. But there's not much going on here, is there? And I'll try and explain why in this little video. Even though I only read about it last night when I arrived here, but it's an interesting story. Okay. As they say, a picture tells a thousand words. Oh my God, what happened there? That doesn't look very nice. It need, that, that needs to be knocked down. It's not and I nice. think this is a perfect example. Beautiful. Wait, what is that? Wait, what? Is that just like Rudolph just running across the road? Is that what it's like in Northern Sweden? Let me know. <laughs> Let me know. You just have deer just running around. That is so cute. Oh no, let me go backwards. That is the cutest. Look at this little run. <laughs> That's so cute. That is so, do you know what? It's moments like that. I'm like, oh, man, can I still be eating meat when animals are so cute? And then I realize, well, we're humans. We're like top of the food chain. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's cute, but I would still try deer. I would. Oh my god. But before we get into all the controversial negative stuff, let's have a so look at nice. Kiruna's old church. Probably the city's most famous landmark. And it sure is a beautiful old wooden building, eh? Mate, why does you, look at the architecture. And the way that the snow has just fallen on just these parts. So pretty. Wow. And how like the gold the golden statues are just they remain without snow on them. It's so beautiful. 
Oh, I'd love to get in for a closer look, but I'm not sure if it's open. It's a church. Church is always open, though. It's a very, very pretty church. Let me know if you've ever been to that church. And uh, let me know if you've ever been inside of that church. Well, it looks like it opens at 10, and that's only like 25 minutes. Maybe we'll just wait at these grand old doors. I bet it doesn't open. <laughs> I'm thinking of a town that's so dead like that. Why would you need to open promptly? I bet it's going While to I'm waiting for the church to open, open, I'm just having a walk through the grounds. Maybe and through the trees, I can see Kirana's iron ore mine. Now, this is the largest of its type anywhere in the world. And it's the whole reason that this city exists at all in its current form. But it's also its biggest threat. This is so cool, isn't it? I'm amazed how well this wood holds up against the weather. Yeah. Oh, it's open. Actually, I should have known that you guys are prompt in Scandinavia. <laughs> it's like, if it says 10 o'clock, you'll be open at 10 o'clock. Wow. Turns out it's literally like a fairy tale. It wasn't actually meant to be filming in there, so only managed to get a couple of clips. Ooh. But despite this beautiful church and some of the beautiful houses we've seen this morning, this is very much an industrial city. And the mine here has been in operation since around 1900, and it's been so successful at taking advantage of all the rich minerals in this area that they've just kept digging and digging and digging right under where we stand today. And this has become a problem for the city of Kiruna because cracks and subsidence have made this not exactly the safest place to live anymore and the city have come up with a radical way to address this problem. Aye, so there's the mine over there in the distance but with every day and every blast of dynamite it's creeping closer and closer. Okay. And that folks is the reason why this whole city is up in sticks and moving two miles in that direction. So They're moving the entire city away from the Wow, I don't think I've ever heard of that before. They're moving the city. Wow, interesting. <laughs> okay. So I'm wondering that all of these places used to be shops and they've just put these vinyls over the windows to cover up the fact that they're just empty lots now. Right. I just had to stop for a moment there to change my camera battery, but it's quite a fiddly thing to do, so I had to take off my gloves. And now, oh my god, my fingers are aching with the cold. I don't recommend taking your gloves off for more than like 30 seconds. And it's not <laughs> even a cold day today, it's only minus 15. <laughs> he said, it's not even a cold day today, it's only minus 15. Minus 15? That's freezing. <sighs> It's just after 11 a.m. and it looks like we're getting a sunrise. Ooh. Now, of course, I don't know anything about the politics of moving an entire city, but I do know that the mining company, who are government owned, are heavily involved in the project and I think they're funding it as well. But whether they're the good guys or the bad guys, I've got no idea. I hope he talks to one, talks to one of the locals about how they feel about moving their entire city somewhere else. How do you even do that? How do you move a city? Do you just knock everything down and build new houses or do you try and salvage parts from old houses and then move? How do you do that? What I'm and doing I'm, now is leaving old sh Sorry, before he starts talking. And also, I would, I, I bet there's a lot of 
people that just do not want to move, not even two miles away. Because imagine you've grown up in an area and you're an old elder, maybe an elderly person. Elderly people don't want to move. They're happy where they are. They don't want to move like two miles away. Like, why would you want to do that? Uh, leave their homes and start and move into a new home. It's very disruptive. And I bet there's a lot of pushback with the community. So I, I'd imagine it's not, it's not a good thing for a lot of people. Let me know if you know about the situation in Kiruna. 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 <laughs> I, I'm learning from a Scottish man, so I'm saying it incorrectly, probably. But yeah, let me know what the situation is. What I'm doing now is leaving old shaky sinking Kiruna behind, and I'm walking the two miles or so down to the new city. It'd be interesting okay. to see how it's progressing, but I imagine it's something that'll take decades to complete. And what's so. the bets when it is complete, we'll need to move it again. Yeah, so two miles, two miles is quite far. So even on the street signs, they're saying the centre is this way, they've abandoned the old city, okay. and this appears to be the future. There's your fuel prices in Sweden, so I guess that's saying regular unleaded around about mm, £1.40 per litre and what? diesel around £1.60. It's not too different from home. That's not too different. I thought it would be a lot cheaper. It's not. He's really, he's, he's really going to walk for two miles. <laughs> he could have probably edited this down a bit. It's nice looking at like the scenery on the way there, but he could have edited this part a little bit. But it's okay. I'm enjoying it. I hope you are enjoying the walk. So here we are, a couple of miles to the east, and we can see the new city springing up. Okay. But when I see it, I must admit, all I can think is there's a lot to be said for old cities, isn't there? Yeah. This is what I mean. Old architecture. This is not. This to me looks. This to me doesn't look attractive at all. I don't know about you guys, what you think about it. It looks like an eyesore. It looks pretty ugly. Whereas the old city, gorgeous. Some of them houses are really, really beautiful. And I don't. Yeah. It's sad. It's sad. If I was an elderly person, I'd be like, I don't want to move here. It's horrible. It's got no soul. We've got the big new Scandic Hotel, which is funny, when I saw it in Booking.com, it said this was three miles from the city centre. But of course, this is the new city centre, so it's still yeah. quite confusing, isn't it? And this tower behind me with the clock on it, I believe this was relocated from one of the old buildings in the old town. And it's now a centrepiece of the new city. Okay. That's awesome. Those sculptures are sick. Piece of the new city. Look at that, with like Brandon in the middle. So it's that cold in, in this, uh, this part of like Sweden that they were able to have like ice sculptures just there. That's sick. Oh, you look cold, mate. I'll check your temperature. Nah, <laughs> you're all right. Oh, and see this block of ice here? LKAB, wow. that is the mining company. I have no I'm idea. I'm just fascinated that like things are just built out of ice because it's cold enough to do that. <laughs> Bibliotech, it's a library. I don't right? know, but to me, it all feels a wee bit soulless here at the moment. Maybe that's been a bit unfair because it is just new and it's still being developed. But where would you rather live? The old city or the new city? Mm. Lovely big library in there though. I love libraries. I'm really into books now. As I'm getting older, like, I just like books. I need to go to the library. In fact, today I'm gonna to go to a bookstore and get a book. I know you don't want, you don't need to know that information, but I'm gonna get a book today. 
<laughs> let, let me know in the comment section what book you are reading. Yeah, let me know. Yeah, sorry, I'm going to repeat that. Let me know in the comment section what you're reading. And yeah, suggest a book I should read too. Um, I'm really into reading. Um, I'm, at the moment, I'm very into like economic books about like investing and stuff. That sounds very boring, I know. But I'm also just into books in general. Um, so yeah, let me know what you're reading and what I should be reading too. Yeah, it just looks lifeless. It looks new and lifeless and a bit clinical. I wouldn't mind if this, all this stuff was in the old city and then around the old city, there's like all, all the old houses. It would be quite nice actually with this new style, these new style buildings and retail around the old architecture, but nope, because they're gonna knock all that down and move the city two miles here. It's just all going to be new. And I, I'm not a big fan of everything being new. Don't know about you. Let me know in the comment section. And where this row of shops comes to an end, the town comes to an end as well. For <laughs> now anyway. All wow. this open land behind us. It certainly is a work in progress, isn't it? It is. So they're currently just building. It's going to take a long time to get this. I don't know why, but every time I see the branding for the mining company, it reminds me of some evil empire trying to brainwash <laughs> everyone into believing that the future's safe in their hands. We have secured mineral assets that guarantees the future of ourselves and our region beyond. It does feel a bit, a bit uh, propaganda-y, isn't it? Like, they're like, what we're doing is for the good of the Swedish people. So you guys moving to this far away, <laughs> two mile away area is securing the, your future. You know, it's very much that. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what can you do? By the way, why is it in English? I just realised I just read that. Um, why is your stuff in English? There's a lot of stuff, I've noticed that with Sweden. I've noticed, guys, I've noticed that about Sweden. A lot of things are in English as well as Swedish. Why? Why? Why is that a thing? Why? Why? I need to know why that's the case. I don't know, folks. I get the feeling they're kind of watching me just now. You might never see this video. <laughs> Our future. I know see that in language. some cases they're literally moving old wooden houses from the old city to the new city. But imagine you're oh. like an old person. That's exactly what I said. They're moving the actual houses. How do they do that? Did they just they're moving the actual old house? Can you do that? Can you preserve a structure? That's interesting. That's something to think about. Can you preserve an entire the integri integrity integrity? 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 Integrity. <laughs> I can't speak English. Guys, um, can you preserve a structure of a house and move it to a new town? Let me know. I've never seen that done before, but if you can, that's quite interesting. Wooden houses from the old city to the new city. But imagine you're like an old person, you can't afford to do that, and you've been forced to move into one of these soulless flats. Oh, How must that soulless. feel? So that I think it'd I be devastating. Oh no, that's the cameras from the mining company. Dun, they really dun, are dun. watching me. This is like a movie. And there's your new life, folks. A bland white kitchen. Nothing oh. on the walls. Very, very clinical. That looks just very boxy. and Like, places like that, to make them homey, you'd, just, you'd have to do a lot. And, and, and sometimes you can't do enough to make it feel like home. It's, it's, it's more so the elderly people, it's more so the older generation that would find it very difficult to move to a town like this. Not so much young people, um, the millennials and the Gen Xers and 
the even even some of the baby boomers might be okay, but like we're talking about the generation before that. Difficult for them. Hey, I reckon they should open the roof of the Scandic as a ski jump, shouldn't they? <laughs> Well, I think that's enough of that for me. I'm going to head back to the real city now. It might be empty, but it's where I'd rather be. And it'll be dark soon anyway. Wait, these horns will move the two to three... Wait, maybe these horns will move the two to three miles down the road to their new plot of land? Wow. Maybe. You know what? I always wonder about cars in this part of the world. Do they have like a shorter lifespan because they're covered in snow six months of the year? Mm. Is there some special coating they put on them over here? I've got no idea, but do let me know in the comments if you know. How they survive. I think you can... Um, I'll get to the food in a second. I think with cars... There's like a thing you can buy that you put over, like a sheet that you can put over your car, which is like ice proof, weather proof. I don't know, but I don't see people covering their cars, so maybe you don't need it there. Let's have a look. Steak burger. Delicious. Steak and salad. Steak and fries. Hmm. Hmm. The food looks good. Warm lingonberry juice. You make juice out of that as well. It's not just jam. Didn't know that. Mm. Ah, Meryl. Meryl. Oh, cash. Yeah. Hello, how are you? Fine. Good. Uh, can I please have 150 gram cheese and bacon? Yeah. Uh, with a fried egg as well? Plus an egg. And with the fries too. Yes. And I'll try a warm lingonberry juice as well, please. Yeah, and eating inside. Please, yes. 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 Thank nice you. Oh, it looks lovely in there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, so food ordered and... I love that you can speak English. She spoke to him in English straight away. She said, good evening, sir. Did she know he, he only spoke... Did she know he was Scottish or English? I need to know this. I don't know. And the woman before, the woman that was getting served, she also was speaking a little bit in English, I heard, and Swedish. No, I need to know these things. I feel like you guys, you, you, I don't know. You use English quite a lot. Why? No one has explained that yet to me. Nobody has explained that yet to me. I've asked, not properly, I've asked on my Patreon and I've asked on the YouTube channel and I've yet to have anyone explain fully why you interchangeably speaking English and Swedish. I've seen it a lot. A lot in TV shows. I see it a lot in TV shows. I see it a lot in movies that I've watched, Swedish movies that I've watched, and on these YouTube videos. So someone let me know why that's the case. And this is where we're eating it. Let's go. What? Is that like a tea peak? Whoa. That's amazing. That's incredible. <gasps> that's stunning. I love it. That's like, um, that's like, uh, is that bone? Are those bones? It's very rustic. It's giving very Viking, isn't it? It's giving very Viking. Oh, this place is just fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> They've already brought me my warm lingonberry juice, which is really hitting the spot today. But here nice. in the tent, it's cosy and warm, and I'm just waiting for my freshly made burger now. Mm. Wow. Oh, is this my dinner? Yeah. Good it's, man, uh, good man. It's order anyway. Oh, there we go. Look at that. McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's. Thank you so it much. It's exactly like the picture on McDonald's, right? <laughs> no way. Oh Did that guy just put his hand on the flame? What type of asbestos hands does he have? 
<laughs> How is he doing that? That's got to burn. It's very dark in here, so with the help of my phone's torch, here is my lunch. Mm. How good does that burger look? Mm. That looks good. <laughs> that looks incredible. Yum. Mm. I don't even know how to start eating this. It's going to be messy. I've just got to go for it. Oh my god, that is incredible. But I think I'll revert to knife and fork for the rest of it. So good. Well, that was an absolutely perfect place to go for lunch and the owner was a legend. But not as much of a legend. That's so random. Is that a petrol station? What is that? And it's just there, randomly. That's awesome. Mate, that's just, <laughs> it's just sick. <laughs> I want to go there. I know it's like a simple burger place, but like, I just love that little teepee with the heater. Legend is the customer he was telling me about. This guy from the mines, he comes down here for his lunch, big Bosnian, and he can eat the one kilogram burger for lunch in five minutes. I would like to meet that. No, I wouldn't like to meet that guy. Sorry, I think I'd eaten so much that I forgot to do an outro. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks so much for I watching. Did. Let me know what you thought of Kiruna in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Kiruna. Oh, pretty. Press pause to read Stevie, Steve's notes. Oh, this guy's cute. I like his style of video. It's just very like chill. Um, I was so glad I jumped off the train in Kirana. Um, such an interesting place with a bizarre story to tell. I'll be going somewhere not too far from here in the next video. Okay. Here are some stats about the city of Kirana. Okay. It's Sweden's most northernmost city with a population of around 20,000. That's nobody, isn't it? It's hardly anybody. The city was built in the 1890s to serve the mine. And it lies 145 kilometers, 90 miles inside the Arctic Circle. Wow. Oh, and my burger, 20 pounds, but worth every penny. 20 pounds? That's British money, by the way, pounds. Um, that's expensive. <laughs> but I would pay that because it looks good. And just for the like TP thing. It looks good. Um, yeah, 20 pounds is, is a lot of money. I mean, we don't get paid as much as you guys do in Sweden, so maybe it's not too bad where you are, but where we are, it's expensive. I want to go to Kiruna. I want to go there. I do. I want to go to Sweden. I really want to go to Sweden. I know, guys, I keep saying I, I am coming. Trust me, I'm just going to surprise you. I'm just going to be in I'm just gonna be in Sweden. And you're going to be like, what? You're in Sweden? And I'm going to be there. I promise you, it's going to happen. Just bear with me. It will happen. And I'm going to be there. And I cannot wait to do basically what this guy has been doing. Vlogging his his uh, journey around Sweden. Um, yeah. Guys, awesome. Thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, I will see you very soon.